Hello, and welcome to part 11 of my Skyrim VR role-playing Let's Play. After Raven helped defeat a dragon in Whiterun and absorbed its soul, there was a thundering call from the highest mountain in Skyrim. The Jarl of Whiterun and his people seemed to think that was the sound of the Greybeard summoning Raven to High Hrothgar, and that she is the legendary dragonborn. After learning that Ulfric Stormcloak can also shout, Raven went to Windhelm to see what she could learn there. It seems Ulfric is also convinced that she is this dragonborn. After a bit of a delay in order to stop a serial killer on the loose, it is time to head up to High Hrothgar and get this matter settled. So let's get right into episode 11. Alrighty then. Azura's wisdom to you. Friend. Oh, to you too. I guess we're going to High Hrothgar. We should be able to catch the carriage to Iverstead, or at least I hope we can. And then just head up from there. <sighs> What's that house up there? Ah, oh, crap. I thought I heard a dragon. <laughs> hey, dragon, go away. We're not interested. Is he attacking? I don't know if he's actually attacking. He might just be showing off. I'd love your opinion. How do you think my training's going? Um, you are doing well. But you need to be careful where you point your bow. You nearly took my whiskers off last time. Ah, sorry. I find it so difficult to aim. I know. It shows. <laughs> it shows. <laughs> um, guys, there's a dragon circling overhead. Eh, I think he's leaving. Hey, Lucian. How can I assist? You want to do some more training? Already? I still haven't finished digesting our last lesson. Oh. Perhaps another time? Well, okay. I suppose that's fine. Right behind you. I'm gonna look at this house up here, maybe. I better put my proper equipment back in place. Yeah, here we go. All done. Now that house, it looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna go check it out. Frostvale Estate. Hey! for sale. Hm. Let me look at this. Ah. Uh -huh. I don't have that much money. Nope. I can't afford this place. Is this a door? Thought maybe it was a door if someone forgot to lock. How about this door? Did they lock it? Yeah, it's locked. Drop off chest. Hey, Inigo. Mr. Dragonfly says he would rather travel with me. It is not personal. He and I go way back. Oh, okay. You give me best equipment, yes? Do you have any crap that I asked you to carry? I want that back. And I've got your journal and your book. And yes, here's Mr. Dragonfly. And a couple of sweet rolls. All set? Yep. Greetings. Hi. How about you? Let me check. Take whatever you need. Do you have any of that crap that I gave you to carry? Do you still have anything? No? Okay, good. Let's go. Now, back to the merchant here. What? What the hell is this? It's almost like a crack in reality. That ain't a good sign. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? What do you have for sale? Take a look. I got some crap to sell. Not a lot, but... Here you go. What are you... Thanks. May your road lead you to warm sands. Hmm. Whoops. Hey, ah, crap. <laughs> 
Let's head over to the carriage. Hi there. The carriage is the safest. Hmm? I need to hire your carriage, please. Where do you want to go? Uh, the rift, I believe. Yeah, the rift. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? I'd like to go to Iverstead. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Okay, cool. Hey, let's go. It's almost getting downright hot now. <laughs> You don't know hot till you've seen 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Ah, we're getting wet. Mm. <sighs> Ooh, wheat. I need some of that. Sure looks like a hey, hello. Like this. Hi there. Oh, you're a traveler. You must have so much to tell about the world outside this boring town. Well, I just took all of your wheat, so I'm gonna pay you for it. Here you go. Thank you. Here, this is for you. And? Thank you. Here, this is for you. What do you know about High Hrothgar? The Greybeards are a strange bunch. I heard they live their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine? They're gonna be kinda hard to talk to if that's the case. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Alright. Let's see. Looks like that's it. Okay, Gotta thanks. Go. How does this guy keep finding me? Good grief. Ooh, food. It's free! Free food. I'm hungry. Uh, definitely hungry. <sighs> I'm gonna help myself. Some rabbit. Some baked potato. A mammoth steak. Wow, I'm really hungry. <laughs> I'm just gonna stuff my face. A salad. An apple. Something to drink. Uh, mead. Yeah, I guess I should drink some water. <laughs> Got some spring water. There we go. Those white line guards take down dragon soap and I'm gonna grab those two apples. I like red apples. Awesome. All right now. Where do I go? Hmm? Okay. I don't know you. Let me check out the local inn. Pardon me, my lady. Hmm? Would you care to hear me play my lute? Uh, not right now, thanks. If there's anything I Hi. can get you. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrel on the east side of town. It's haunted. Well, now you got me interested. Can you tell me anything else about the barrel? There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Hmm. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Wow. Do the spirits haunt the town? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrel. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrel? I will. I could investigate this for you. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. Hmm. Has anyone tried exploring it before? About a year or two ago. Hmm. Some fella named Windelius came through, said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night, we heard screams from the barrel, and that was it. Wow. We never saw him again. I'm definitely checking that out. I need a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Awesome. 
And what do you have for sale? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. All right then, let's see what you got. Buy a little bit. I think I got my breakfast. Thanks. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Excuse me, ma'am. Pardon me, my lady. Would you care to hear me play my lute? So, what do you play? I play the lute. No, I meant songs. If you'd like to hear something, Oof. it only costs <laughs> five gold. Ah, I think it'd be worth more than that. That's so sweet of you. I'll tell you what. I'll play a special song just for you, for no charge at all. All right. That's very nice of you. Playing with Is no it sound. Absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now. Interesting. If you fancy a bit of music, let me know. Actually, yeah? I've, I'm going to give you a tip. Thank you. Here, this is for you. There you go. A pleasant that was journey, my lady. Very nice playing. Very good. I'm going to bed now. Well, it's still early. Jeez. What can we do? What can we do? Lucian. Good evening. Are you ready to do training now? Excellent. I've been looking forward to this. Cool. What shall we work on this time? I want to try to teach you a spell. You do? Yeah. Splendid. Which spell? Oh, oh I, all right then. I guess I can't. Excellent. What shall we work on this time? So why don't you train with Inigo instead? All right. I'll go and ask him. The first thing to remember in archery is to breathe. Do not hold your breath, or it will make your hands shake. Now, draw back your bow, and when you are ready, exhale as you let go. How was that? Very good. Soon we will be ready to try with arrows, I think. <laughs> with arrows. Okay, then. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hand. I'm gonna go to bed, and we can just get an early start tomorrow. Maybe it'll stop raining. <sighs> so much for the rain stopping. I'm gonna have a bite to eat. It's time for breakfast. That was tasty. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? Well, since you're so rude, yes, I do. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? I'm bugging you just because you're rude. Now, what do you know about High Hrothgar? Clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, oh. when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. Hmm. Well, that was actually useful, so... Maybe I won't foose you for being rude. Ah, wait. I said, wasn't there mail I forgot to read? Let me check. Is it one of these? This one. Woundforth, the unliving, wants my help. How? <sighs> okay. But I got places to go right now. Like, High Croft Dark. Bears? What's up? This is the worst place in Skyrim to run a mill. How am I supposed to do anything with all those bears running around? You're having a bear problem? Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what, bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. 
So how can bears be putting you out of business? Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? No. They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits, huh. marking their territory or something. It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right size. Hmm. Cost me too much time and money. Alright, that sounds like there's too many bears and they're damaging the environment, so... Now go get those stupid bears that's coming to them. Yeah, might have to cut back their numbers. I don't respect you at all. Not even a little bit. On your way up to 7,000 steps again, Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Rock Guard. The path is safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some surprise? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Hey! Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? Yep. About to make a delivery up there myself. What kind of deliveries do you make? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return, they do... Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Well, I'm going up there anyway, so I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. What can you tell me about High Hrothgar? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. So, anything I need to know about the path up? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. All right. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Be careful up there. Probably wasn't the best choice to climb it in this weather. Did we have to choose to come up here when it was pouring rain? Yeesh. Dead goat? Hmm. I wonder what killed it. Hey, what's this? Something about the dragons ruling everything. You guys coming? Don't want to lose you, and I can't hear if you're behind me. I didn't have to kill the animals, but hey, they're not giving me a choice. So, the Greybeards, I hope that if I show up there and they say I'm not Dragonborn, that they don't take that as a provocation. Hopefully that's not the type of thing that will piss them off. <sighs> hey, hi there! Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Did you hear the Greybeards call Dovahkiin? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Have you ever met the Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Hi. Take care. Another one of these. Hmm. 
Humans had no voice, huh? Who knows? Maybe the Greybeards won't even see me. Maybe they'll just go, uh, you're not the one we called. Get out of here. Dead goat. I wonder if that means there's a wolf up ahead. There he is. An ice wolf. Hear more wolves. That is what Klimic said I'd find. <laughs> well, at least the rain stopped. You guys still back there? Now that the rain stopped, it's a pretty nice day. <sighs> Humans tried to stand up to the dragons and they got shouted down. Epic fail. You guys still back there? Good. Legs, stop complaining. Only another three and a half thousand steps to go. What, have you been counting? <clears throat> Hi there. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. So, did you hear the Greybeards call Dovahkiin before? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Yeah, so you heard it too. Uh, <sighs> Let's look at this one. Uh, kind and par par. I'm not sure if I can pronounce that. Parther snacks. That's kind of like party snacks. Does Parther snacks have party snacks? I better not be making fun of him when I go talk to the Greybeards. Uh, they might take offense. What's that up there? He doesn't look friendly. I missed. I think I missed again. I think I just keep missing. Smelly troll. A troll? You trolls are smell like bum. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I'm hitting the target now at least. Excuse me. Might wanna Yeah. Some distance. Ha. That's what you call teamwork. You guys are awesome. I kept missing the target and missing the target over and over and over again. Looks like Inigo may have missed the target once. And I missed the target about 10 times. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the better archer? <sighs> they defeated Alduin.
with the help of kine and party snacks. Well, it's easier to say than Parthernax. I hope we're almost there. Inigo, you still counting? How much farther? I see another tablet. Take a break. Hmm. Hmm. Hurry up, Inigo! What is he up to back there? Are we losing Inigo? Hey, keep up, dude. I think we're almost there. Come on. Another tablet. Jurgen Windcaller. Interesting. Oh, man. So a really long road. Another tablet. I must read. So this guy's the one that started the graybeards at the throat of the world. Huh. Does this mean we're almost there? When the historical landmarks get close to current day? I think that's it. We're almost there. Ha! Wait, what? Oh crap, what is that? Congratulations, legs. You did it. You ah, too. Geez. You performed well. I think this is a hole in your dimension. The Dovakin. Yeah, I think that's a hole in your dimension. Uh, oh, there once was a hero named Raven the Right who couldn't be beaten in any fair. Hi, Hrothgar. Yeah. Finally. Do I still have legs? Uh, Maybe yeah. Ask because I can't feel them anymore. Uh, they're there. Maybe you should be glad you don't feel them. They might be hurting. This is where Clemic's supplies go. There we go. <clears throat> now to go inside and see what the Greybeards have to say. Well, that's interesting. There are pots erupting. So. Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I am answering your summons. Is it me that you were summoning? We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Yeah, I can foos, but whenever I foos someone, they usually get really pissed off. Strike us with the power of your voice. If you say so. Don't get pissed. Dragonborn. Okay. It is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Thank you. It is an honor to be here. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? I want to know exactly what it means to be a Dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. So I take it I'm not the only dragonborn. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not 
ours to know. You are the only one that has been reviewed thus far. That is all I can say. So who are you? And what is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. <sighs> I'm answering your summons, Master. Uh, what do we do now? We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. Wait, what is my destiny? That is for you to discover. I figures. We can show you the way, but not your destination. I'm ready to learn, Master. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But... Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. I'm willing. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Wow, did he just whisper carving into the stone? <laughs> Ro, huh? Ro. You learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Well, you can do that? Whoa. Yeah, that, that's the stuff. Alright. What do you need me to do? Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Alright. Alright, like that? Did I do it wrong? Um. Well done. Okay. Again. That's two. Now we stand here. You learn quickly. Once more. Impressive. Thanks. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. <gasps> we will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Okay. Follow Master Bori. Which one's Master Bori? Oh, probably the one that's moving. <laughs> it's hard to follow someone who's not moving. He's moving very slowly. Of course, he is an old man. I guess I do have to make some allowances for that. What a beautiful day. Clear blue sky. Just a few wispy clouds. I love it. We will now see how 
how you learn a completely new shout. All right. Master Bori will teach you wolf, which means whirlwind. Whispering a word into snow is not as you impressive. You hear the word within <laughs> yourself before you can project it into a thing. Wold. Right? Wold. Get Search it. Master Bori and he will gift you his knowledge of wold. Oh, well. <laughs> the energy again. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's a rush. That's definitely a rush. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori? X! Wolf! <laughs> now, your turn. Okay. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. I'm gonna try not to run into that post. Ha! Ah, I did it. Ah, so how was that? Your quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I really don't know how a how I do it, it just kind of happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. So, do you think the Dragon's returning has anything to do with uh, me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Thank you, Master. I will continue training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. So, what does it mean to be Dragonborn? Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. And maybe I can speak to you about my actual mission here. So are there only four of you here? Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the Parthenax. throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Parthenax. I saw his name on the tablets on the way up here. Wouldn't he have to be thousands of years old? So who is Jürgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, uh, not okay. the glory of men. Um. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition and the way of the voice. Was born. So what exactly is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice 
is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Well then, that means I've already committed quite a few blasphemies, so why would you help me learn to use the voice if I don't follow your ways? The Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As Dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Ah, okay. So, is there any way I could meet this, your leader, Parthenax? As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. All right, but how old is he? I mean, is he actually like thousands of years? Okay, okay. I get it. Thank you. Win. Got you. Thank you for your help. Probably don't want to talk about Parthenax until maybe he realizes he can trust me. <laughs> Understandable. So, I guess we go get the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller now. Parthenax. Something about that keeps bugging me. That name. Do elves live thousands of years? I mean, that's how old he'd have to be. Hmm. Wait, do you? So, we need the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Yeah. And where is it? In a dungeon full of drama, of course. Of course. Where else would you keep a musical <laughs> instrument? Do you hear that? Do you hear it? It's like a voice. I... If you don't hear it, I'm going to follow it. What? What is it? It's like it's calling to me. What am I looking for? Ooh. Pretty. It's mine. It's my precious. It's mine. Ha! It's mine! What? Don't look at me like that. I'm not robbing the Greybeards. This is a magical item that contains dark energy, okay? I'm actually doing the Greybeards a favor by removing it from their vicinity because the dark energy in this could have a negative effect on them. So I'm doing them a favor by taking this with me. I'm not robbing them, I'm helping them out. Ha! Huh. And since I'm aware of what it can do, it obviously won't affect me. I guess we can head back down the mountain now. So, Lucian. Well, well, well. Dragonborn. Now with the Greybeard's seal of approval and a bunch of shiny mystical powers to boot. Yeah. Do you have any idea how exciting this is for me? To be able to study the Thum up close and with such regularity. I must write this all up. All right. No other scientist in Tamriel has this kind of opportunity. Well, I'm glad it will help you out. Bye for now. Yes, my friend? I'm glad you're here. Yay! Hugs! So, in I go. The Greybeards have taught you well, and you are a quick learner. Now you are louder and faster than ever. <laughs> Let us go get that horn, my friend. So, a septum for your thoughts? It was quite a climb getting here. Maybe we should just slide back down. Could be fun, or we could kill ourselves. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Ow! What the? You just smacked me in the face with your shield, Inigo. Jeez, can you 
please not do that next time we hug. That was not enjoyable. <sighs> okay then. Now we've got a long road down. Let's try to pick up the pace a little bit. I know how to speed things up. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fast. Let's do it again. Ha! Oops, wait. Am I losing them? It's kind of fast. Are you guys still keeping up? There's Lucian. We lost Inigo. Oops. <laughs> Better go back for him. Inigo, I didn't mean to leave you in the dust. Inigo? Where are you? What are you doing? Are you ready to go? We got a long road ahead of us. Be a lot faster if we could all do that. Oh well. Better stick with unrelenting force. I think that would be more useful in most situations. And one uneventful trek down the mountain later. Back in Iverstead. <sighs> it's getting a little late. What is it? Dragons? I didn't see any. You there. Hmm? You're the one they call Dragonborn. Well, the Greybeards seem to think I'm Dragonborn, and I think they know what they're talking about. Then it is too late. What? The lie has already taken root in the hearts of men. They lied? So we shall expose to them the falseness in their hearts by tearing out yours. What? Deceiver. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. Who the? None shall stand to oppose him. Uh-huh. Never should have come. Fine. Ah. If you're gonna attack me, you can die. By sword and fire. What's with these people? Check this one. Hey, he's still twitching. Still moving. Stop moving. Stay dead. Sometimes you don't know with cultists. I found some orders on him. Orders to a cultist. Let's see here. False dragonborn? So what, do they think the Greybeards are lying? That they don't know what they're talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> well, that's going to be all for tonight. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. And I hope to see you back for the next episode. Until then, may Talos be with you.